Hi everybody, this is Gad Saad for the Sad Truth. Today I'd like to briefly discuss two studies that have explored uh, sexual fantasies. Uh, to those who are interested, I will attach uh, the link to a Psychology Today article that I had written a few years ago, wherein I summarized uh, some of the key findings. So in the first study by a good friend of mine, Bruce Ellis, and uh, a uh, very notable evolutionary psychologist, uh, one of the pioneers, Donald Simons, this is back in 1990, they looked at the contents of uh, fantasy, sexual fantasies uh, across the sexes. And as you might expect, there were some very notable differences, uh, all of which perfectly align with uh, evolutionary based predictions. But just to sort of mention a few of them for you here, uh, of course, men uh, engaged in greater amount of sexual fantasizing. Uh, they did so with uh, greater number of uh, possible targets of their sexual fantasies and a greater number of strangers. Uh, their fantasies were less uh, laden with uh, emotional content. So many of the things that you would have expected even if you weren't an evolutionary psychologist uh, are exactly those that were found in the study. More recently, a few years ago, uh, two uh, Finnish uh, scholars looked at four types of female fantasies uh, and tried to examine whether uh, the fantasies in question would vary in terms of how much they are uh, desired, if you'd like, how they are ranked across a woman's menstrual cycle. Uh, so you could either fantasize, if you're a woman, about being with another man. So that's called as the FM fantasy, female male fantasy. You could fantasize about two women, yourself included, so two women with a man. You could fantasize about two men being with you, so male, male with a female. Or multiple males and multiple females, so female, female, male, male. So sort of the classic orgy. Uh, and so here what they wanted to look at is whether these four scenarios for a sexual fantasy might be differentially desired across a woman's menstrual cycle. And of note here, I won't give you all the results. You can check them out, as I said, in the link that I will attach below for my Psychology Today article. But what is interesting to note is that the uh, male-male uh, with a woman fantasy was actually ranked higher than, for example, two women with one man. Uh, and the male-male with a woman fantasy was particularly desired when women were in the maximally fertile phase of their menstrual cycles, which of course fits perfectly with the idea of shopping for good genes, or, in, or more specifically in this case, of uh, the fact that you are promoting uh, sperm competition at exactly the point when a woman is uh, maximally fertile. So you, this is one of the beautiful things about evolutionary psychology is it allows you to posit very, very innovative hypotheses that might otherwise have been invisible to you where you're not coming uh, via an evolutionary lens. So there you have it. Study one, not very surprising. Women, men fantasize more than women about a greater number of partners and more strangers. Study two, only focusing on women. Uh, women do fantasize about being with multiple men and are particularly likely to uh, experience that fantasy or like that fantasy more when they are in the maximally fertile phase of their menstrual cycles. There you have it, folks. Evolutionary psychology, unlocking all the mysteries of human nature bit by bit. Have a great weekend that's coming up. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already and tell your friends about the channel. Talk to you soon. Ciao.